I find it so funny. Some people are very sure that saturated fat and cholesterol cause heart disease, and so you should avoid that. Go plant-based, whole foods vegan. And then there's this other camp that says, that's a lie. We were raised, our caveman ancestors lived off fat all the time. They never had heart attacks. What's the truth? Neither of us know, but I'll tell you why. I'm not afraid of saturated fat. A little bit, I'd be lying. A little bit. He's walking somewhere. Just last week in this area, someone tried to steal my camera. Or they threatened it. It was so weird. Just we'll tell this little story, then we get into the how saturated fat is so we're safe now. <laughs> so I just see this guy, he's got two beers open, and he says, hey, you got three dollars? I'm like, nope. And then he says, how much is that camera worth though? I was like, a lot more than three bucks. I'm trying to sound tough or something, I don't know what I was doing. He's like, okay, cool, I'll follow you then. And so he starts following me, and we're just talking, and he's like, ah, oh, don't worry, don't be afraid, I'm just kidding. I'm like, I'm not afraid. I just said that because I wasn't, like for the first time. And this guy was big. He was six foot three if he was a foot. And he was 230 at least. I'm probably over exaggerating, but he was huge. But I wasn't afraid. I, I figured I could disable him and, it, gah, gah, and then run. <laughs> it would have been annoying to have to fight him with one camera trying to protect the camera and karate chopping. Does that work, the chop? It doesn't work. We actually laughed about it. I was like, you probably couldn't even take it from me. I was smiling when I said it and he's like, trust me, if I wanted that camera, it'd be mine. <laughs> and I just, I didn't want to tempt fate and like, yeah, well, let's see. <laughs> like so stupid, like just, okay, you win. So I just cowered away and we left. I wished him luck. He just got fired from a job and he has two beers open. It's like, maybe that's why buddy, maybe that's why. It ties into the video though. I feel so much more confident and strong and happy that like I wasn't getting those butterfly tingles in my stomach like, oh man. Like I've had that feeling so many times as a teenager. Maybe it's just because I'm a man and so strong now with the Monkey Strength Protocol. I bought too many groceries. But if saturated fat and cholesterol were so bad, why do people feel so good eating it? Like their health turns around completely. So many vegans, like just a little egg yolk, just bundled with cholesterol and saturated fat, it's like, how could it be bad? How could our ancestors have gotten this far on that? We know they didn't live very long, 45 if it was a year. But it just doesn't make sense. Human breast milk is full of saturated fat and cholesterol. Why? If it's so bad, why would they give a baby? Even a baby can digest saturated fat, you can't? Oh, this is super heavy. I lied about being strong. I get no break because I'm holding heavy groceries with the other arm and then I switch. Where's the rest? So the nutrition world is very confusing and you could just be a victim to it and say, oh, I don't know, both camps are making good points. You have to trust yourself and you have to try each way. You have to. How else are you going to know? You can't know anything unless you do it yourself. You can't know hang gliding is fun unless you plunge off a cliff and slam into the brick wall. How are you going to know? That's something I think I'll never try like parachuting, jumping out of a plane, anything that's higher than I can jump off and land safely, I forget that. My mom says she'll never ride faster than she's willing to fall. <laughs> I trust that's a good technique. But man, I've heard too many horror stories. <laughs> she was like walking head down. <laughs> but I remember seeing some horror story with this beautiful blonde woman. She was hang gliding or something with her boyfriend and there's a hole and they're going down and she landed like face first and just ruined her face basically like perfect looking beautiful woman destroyed that would suck i ain't losing my teenage girl face i'm not sure what any of that had to do with anything but don't hang glide to dinner ever no matter what it is you're eating i feel too good to be on the camp that saturated fat is bad for us. I eat so much, it's so stupid. How much beef suet I eat, it's unheard of. No cow could sustain me. 
in my opinion, you got to trust your instinct to lead you to the right path to try. And then you got to try it and see how you feel long term, like at least several months. That's long term to me. <laughs> you got to try it yourself. And if you feel like shit, then you'll know, OK, maybe that other camp there is just full of shit because I tried it and you suck. That's yeah. the camp I feel like vegans are in. It's like I tried that and everybody I see just there's a couple thriving, seven vegans. I wish them well. I remember seeing that video years ago with OK Raw and that one guy had a heart attack on a raw vegan diet. And he's like, oh, it's the olive oil. That's why it's fat. That's what did it. Was it like that was his guess. You know how many times I've guessed wrong on this channel in the past week? At least four times. <laughs> I upload four videos a week. I don't like the odds on that one. But who knows what caused that guy? I think he had a stroke. It's like the olive oil, really? It could have been, it might have been. But it was probably, he was probably having the sugar too. In my opinion, it's a bit of a waste of time to look at the research because there's so much that goes into it, so much funding and bias. You can't listen to like, Vegan Gains has quoted the World Hell Organization for actual information. They're demon freaks that want us all dead. <laughs> Unbelievable. So science, you can't really trust it because there's so much science saying sugar causes inflammation that leads to heart disease. And then there's science that shows raising cholesterol with saturated fat, that causes our same boat. You can't avoid both. You need calories from something. What are you gonna eat? There's nothing safe. So you gotta eat what feels right. Oh my God, the best dresser I've ever made. I want it so bad. Oh my God, look at that thing. It's solid wood. Oh, a lot of the drawers don't have actual bottoms and they're ripped off. Oh, it is particle board. Oh, that's a nightmare. I would have got that home and cried. So in my opinion, self-experience and other people's anecdotal evidence is the best we got. Humans working together, yeah, I cured that. You want help? This is how I did it. Then you try it, you die from it, and then maybe your mom will warn your following on your tombstone. That's how it should work. It's funny, this camera is so light, but having to hold this and switching arms, my shoulders are burning. I made a video on the way here for the camera channel, but. That was easy, I had no groceries. This sucks. What I try to do is just share my experience and then you can think for yourself. You can think, okay, that guy says too much vegetables can cause constipation. That's what happens in my body. But every keto person you hear of, it's like unlimited veggies. Don't even count them. They don't even count as carbs. Eat as much as you can. <laughs> Not my body, like it's too much fiber. And maybe I have a narrowing in my colon and I'm a, unique individual. Most people don't have that. They just have normal colons. They weren't operated on. But you can take that advice and try it. Lower your vegetable intake and then see, oh my God, he was right. Look at that. Too much fiber for some people. It's a problem. Others are thriving. The more fiber they eat, the better they poop. Not me. I had a guy commenting. He's like, it's all about beans. That's all you need. Beans make me sick. I'm on a keto diet. Why would I have carbs? Beans are the worst fiber. They always gave me cramps. We're all very unique in our abilities to digest certain things. And we have certain organ weaknesses. You can't just copy a blueprint of this diet and paste it on everybody's face. You can't do it. I wish you could. We could put 10 people on my diet right now. Maybe seven of them would start feeling good in two months. Three of them would have dropped out. And the next seven, the lucky seven, they get to have heart attacks when they're 75 years old. I'll show you the house I almost moved to. It's right here. I tried. I applied for it, but they never called me back. That's Donlands. Danforth is right there. Good neighborhood. It's not quite Greek town. There was like seven people here when I showed up, all trying to interview it. Was this it? It looks so different. This is it. 39. We walked back there. This wouldn't have been my front door. I had to go back and then that was my window, but you couldn't get in it. That door leads to upstairs. It was all right. It was weird. The side facing window was pure darkness. It faced a brick wall and creaky floors, a weird smelling kitchen. Decent area though. 1500, I think. Oh, I'm a moron. It was this house. <laughs> This feels like it. It had the same stupid brick lawn. 
we went back there. I would have had a little tiny backyard. Could have grown some tomatoes. But yeah, that's the door that led upstairs. And that would have been my window. I'm a moron. I guess that's why it looked different. It was a completely different house. So don't mistake your diet for another diet. Just be on the one that feels right to you. Whether that's vegan or high fat, cholesterol clogging ability like diet that I'm on. <laughs> These shoulders are burning. <laughs> I'm not out of breath because of the saturated fat. Thumb up the video still. That's good advice. Thumbs down. If you're growing a grasshopper farm, because insects are the way, they're not. They have sharp, stabby legs. They stab your colon. It's basically fiber, but worse. It's worse than broccoli fiber. Cricket fiber. Don't do it to yourself. I'm gonna leave. Thanks for buying a vegetable conspiracies t-shirt. Subscribe for more better than I say. Right?